Hi everyone! I wanted to show you today something that I did while I was, let's just say I may or may not have been on a break at work. Let's just go with I was on a break at work. And I was looking at my phone and I saw this fun little Cricut Design Space icon and I thought I'm just going to play around for a second. And I did just that. So, this is the beauty of the iPhone app. I've had some people comment, you know, I don't think I would use it, I don't understand why you would want that on your phone. Well, I had a little bit of downtime and I created a card that I actually need to have for this weekend. And all I have to do is now I can come home and get next to my Cricut and, and cut it out and assemble it. I don't have to design it. But I wanted to show you, this is what I did. This is the iPhone app that we're looking at. And if I go into my projects, here's the project that I created today, right here. And I'm just going to tap on it. And it comes up just like a, a Make It Now project. And I can either, if I don't have any changes to it, I can go down here and click on Make It Now on my phone, or I can hit Customize if I want to change some things. So let's just go into Customize just so that you can see it on the mat. If I just went to Make It Now, it would take me straight to cutting. So I'm going to hit Customize. And it's telling me that I have a project already on my mat. Do I want to replace it or keep it? So I'm going to replace it with this new project. And here it is. Here is the, whoops. Here is the project that I created at work today. Get a better look at it. And if I wanted to go in and change some colors and whatnot, I could do that. The beauty of it is, is it's all done for me. I don't have to waste my time designing another card. And I can just hit send to mat. And here are all my mats ready to go. All I have to do is cut this out and assemble it. So that's the beauty of the iPad app and I think it was really fun. I mean I really just spent a few minutes putting this together. But I'm going to take you back and start a new project from new so that you can see how I, how I designed this. So I'm just going to skip that. I'm going to go back to projects. I'm going to create new project. I'm going to replace we're going to create the same project. So I wanted to show you how you do this. You go into insert image. And I'm going to click on cartridges and I'm going to type in Anna. And this is the Anna Griffin cartridges. And the one that I used was the Anna's Garden cards and embellishments. I'm going to click on that. And I used this flourish right here. I used this card base. And I'm just clicking on these to open them. I use this Life's a Journey. And that's it for that. I'm going to hit Reset All. I'm going to go to Label. Just type in Label. Would help if I spelled it right. And this is the one I used. I'm going to hit insert image. Okay, so now I have all my pieces here. And you can see that I can zoom in by simply pinching two fingers and putting them together, zooms out, pulling them apart, zooms in. And you can see by my rulers up there on the top, this is really small. So I'm just going to pull these down. I want to work with the card base layer first. And I want this card to be about four and a quarter inches. So I'm just kind of measuring it up there and you can see right now that is pretty big. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so that we can 
really get down to our rulers up here and see where we're at. And I still want to zoom in a little bit more. And to scoot over on the mat, you put two fingers on the screen and you scoot the way you want to go. Okay, so we can see up there that this is the six inch mark. I want this to be about four and a quarter. Turn it this way and you can probably see it a little bit better. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to shrink that down and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not really concerned about it being exactly four and a quarter, but I want just one portion of this card from here to here to be about four and a quarter. So there's one, two, three, there's four, and then about a quarter of the way bigger. So I'm going to pull that out just a little bit more. And that's close enough for me. Okay, now what I want to do is grab these pieces over here. Let's get this stuff out of our way. The first thing I'm going to do is work with this label and the sentiment. And I'm going to make this kind of big so that I can see what's going on. I'm going to grab this sentiment and I'm going to go down here to actions. And I'm going to hit arrange, move to front. And now the sentiment is on top of the label. Get rid of that so I can see. And I'm going to pull this a sentiment bigger. And maybe I don't want it quite edge to the or right to the edge. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to put a finger down and I'm going to drag and select over both of those. And I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to go to align and I'm going to go to align center. And now those two are aligned perfectly. Now what I need to do is attach that writing to the front part of the label. And right now that label is connected to the back part. So I need to just select that label and I'm going to go over here to ungroup. Now I'm going to go to the layers panel and I'm going to select the sentiment and I need to find that front label which is right here. I'm going to hold that. So I have the sentiment selected and that label and I'm going to go to actions and hit attach. And now that label is attached to the, the label front. So now I'm going to put my finger down and select all of that again and I'm just going to go to actions and group it back together. So now this will move together. All right, now obviously that's too big for my card, so I'm going to just size it all down together. And that's going to set over here. Let's get rid of this actions panel so that we can focus on this. And that's still bigger than I want it. I think about that size looks good. Okay, now we have our little flourish here. And the way I was planning it was this would sit kind of right there, kind of right behind there. And I think I want it just a hair bigger. And then I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to duplicate it. While that one is selected, I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to vertically flip it. And then horizontally flip it. Okay, so that's going to set about like that. That one's going to set about right there. And we can go back to actions, arrange, move backward. And obviously I'm going to tweak that a little bit when I put it together so that it's not hanging off the edge. Be something along those lines. And maybe I want that just a little bit smaller. I think I'll make that one a little bit smaller. So I'm going to find that flourish, or it's a vine, I guess. And you see that there's two vines here and they each have two layers. I don't want that shadow layer. So in order to get rid of that, I'm going to select it and delete that shadow layer. And I'm going to do the same on this one. 
and delete that shadow layer. So I'm just left with the just left with the flourish. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is I'm gonna get rid of that layers panel and this actions panel. And I'm actually gonna cut the flourish out of vellum, as I said. And so I wanna change that to a different color so that the Cricut Explorer will stop and let me change my paper. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to go to the layers panel and I'm going to grab that flourish. And it doesn't matter which one, I'm just gonna grab one. And I am going to change that to white. And that's it. Get rid of the edit panel. And now I'm going to go to the sync panel and here are all my different colors. And so I'm gonna kind of flip through here. Here is the flourish that I just made white, right here. And if I scroll up, here is the flourish that I still have is pink. So what I wanna do is click right here and drag that up to the white one. So that those will both be white. And all that does, again, is give me a different color that I can stop the explore and put my vellum in and cut that out. The other thing I want to do is make sure that this front of this label, Life is a Journey, is the same color as this background. So in order to do that, I'm going to find my label. And it's right here. And I'm going to pull that up to the light peach color. So now that's the same color. And truth be told, I think what I'm going to do is cut all of this out in the same color. And I know that sounds weird, but it'll make sense in a minute. So I'm going to find this peach color of the card base and pull that down to the light peach. So now it's all one color. And for right now, I'm not even going to cut the envelope. So I'm gonna go actions, ungroup. I'm gonna select the envelope and click on it and select the liner and delete it. So I don't need that. So that's it, that's my card. And I did all that on my phone. I'm now going to send it to my mat and cut it out and then I'll assemble it. I'm not gonna film the cutting out. I've, I've done plenty of videos where you can see it in action. Okay, what I just noticed is each one of these lines is two inches. So this is way bigger than what I wanted. Uh, it should be, see this would be two, four and a quarter. So we want this to be down to there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my finger down and select everything. And I'm going to go to actions, group. So it's all gonna stay together. And I'm gonna size this down to two, four, I'm gonna make this four inches. Okay, perfect. All right, now I'm gonna hit send to mat. And it's telling me I had that last project that we didn't cut, so I wanna replace it with this one. And here we are, here is our label, our flourishes our card base and the card front, our other label, the f label front, and that's it. So all I have to do is hit go. It's gonna look for my Cricut. There it is, I'm gonna select it. Do you hear me I'm talking to you Across the water, across the deep blue Ocean under the open sky Oh my, baby, I'm trying Boy, I hear you in my dreams I feel you whisper across the sea I keep you with me in my heart you make it easier when life gets hard Lucky I'm in love with my best friend Lucky to have been where I have been Lucky to be coming home again I wish 
we had a one more kiss I'll wait for you I promise you I will I'm lucky I'm in love with my best friend Lucky to have been where I have been Lucky to be coming home again Lucky we're in love in every way Lucky to have stayed where we have stayed Lucky to be coming home someday And so I'm sailing through the sea To an island where we'll meet You'll hear the music fill the air I'll put a flower in your hair Though the breezes through the trees are most so pretty You're all I see As the world keeps spinning round You hold me right here, right now Lucky I'm in love with my best friend Lucky to have As always, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the red button somewhere around this video. They move it quite often. And please visit me on my blog at loristory.com. Thanks again. Bye.